inlay working with slip um, inlay is a really beautiful uh, technique for one of many the many wonderful ceramic techniques the quality that it has uh, it's kind of like a stone a tumbled stone where the black color here and the red terracotta are on the same plane perfectly smooth on the same plane together or here we have white slip with brown clay and um, there is neither inside in the clay like a cut scraffito nor is it on top like a slip or glaze it's just part of the um, the clay surface, which is kind of a beautiful thing. So now this is, uh, you see the hair, I cut the hair, then I lay in the black, in this case it was underglaze, and I came back in and I cut away the surface to reveal the porcelain again and the black. Um, so this is a really special technique for all of us ceramic lovers. Now, you need your good slip. I have a slip, black slip, and your leather hard piece of clay. Uh, and I'm going to slop this slip on one side. Um, so that I can cut through it and the very immediate fun thing to do is um, and then on the other side I'm going to do inlay so here I slop it on with my very stiff brush you need a good stiff brush to hold up to that slip and I'm drawing through it it's kind of wet um, it would be easier tomorrow but you can go ahead and draw um, on that clay right through the slip and then on the other side of the piece I'm going to do the inlay and with the inlay you can use any tool you like but you need to be able to get deep into the clay so I've got a stick I've got a metal dental tool I've got a loop tool doesn't really matter whatever you like to draw or make marks with but just get it down into the clay um, not a, a, a mark that, say, goes in an eighth of an inch. Try to get in deeper. Here I'm um, having fun drawing it through the slip again. And you can see also, you don't have to cover the piece to totally with the slip, of course. You can drag it across the texture. Um, and leave it like that. That's also nice. So when you're doing the piece, if you can make marks, however big they are, here's a tiny uh, bird, with deeply cut lines. When you pounce that, you get that slip into the uh, lines, then when you cut away, you won't cut to the bottom of that black slip and erase your bird. You'll see this later. So now here, I pounce it in with my stiff brush. I'm going to see if I can get it into every single line. And now have fun with my, um, with just drawing on the um, slip. It's already drying down a little bit. You can see one side is not fully covered. And the other side is always good to um, see if you can stop and take advantage of uh, something that you like. So now on this side, I waited till the next day. It's drier. It's more um, say leather hard. That's good. And I'm gonna really sharpen my tools to cut into that black slip but I notice okay here I'm that it needs to be um, here I'm cutting away at it 
cut, cut, cut. And then I realized, okay, when you put that slip on, you need to compress it and get it down into the lines. That's especially true if your lines are fairly wide, because if you don't do that, it's not really compressed, it's not really pushed down into the lines, it tends to crack along the line. It's not as pretty. So I go ahead and compress it, and then there's the job, this is the same piece here, of cutting away very carefully so you, or at least I'm careful, so you don't cut away the line itself. You'll see what this is like. And then here we have uh, an example. We're actually looking at the, the porcelain underneath and the slip on top, and I'm carefully coming down um, through, and by this time I can't remember what I did underneath, and I can't really see it, so it's, that's a little difficult. Um, and I wanted to say, for those who are afraid of drawing, you can see how this technique would be beautiful for, for hair, or wood grain, or um, abstract patterns. All would look great with this. You don't have to draw anything at all. You just need to be able to get your line or your pattern deep enough into the clay so that when you're doing what I'm doing here, you don't erase it. So now I thought you'd like to see the inlay and some of the other slip techniques. Here's brush work, slip, watered down slip with some drawings in it. Cut through the slip. There you go, like that girl is a little cut through the slip and the dots are cut through the slip. And then here we have Scrofito. We're all familiar with Scrofito, um, which is a marvelous technique. And then we have the inlay, and they're all so very different. You could combine them. You could have like a tattoo, an inlay tattoo, um, or whatever you like. But in any case, Tidy up because black slips especially are rather um, toxic. They have a lot of heavy metal in them. And I'll, um, I hope you have a wonderful time with slip and inmate. All right then. Bye-bye.